Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Tamitha Saunders with T5's Crafty Corner. And today we're gonna to be doing a, an easy watercolor tumbler. That's what I call it, because it, it looks just like watercolors. Uh, so I hope you enjoy and let's just get to it. Hi guys, I'm not sure exactly what happened to my footage where I did the black part of the cup. But all I did was, and of course it's already on a spray painted cup, I, I've already, I would have sanded the cup, spray painted it, and then I would, I taped it off like this. And I just kind of used the line as a base to where I had almost equal. And for the road, I didn't want the watercolor look for the road. So all I did was I used uh, black alcohol ink and I used a makeup sponge. So, and then you just dab it. And I did that until I had really good coverage and then I moved on to the next step. But that's all I did. The cup was uh, prepped and spray painted white and then I just taped it off and I kind of used this line as a base. And then uh, I laid the tape and then once the tape was laid, I started applying the black ink with uh, the makeup pad. All right, we're gonna work on this little guy. Um, I'm gonna take the tape off and I'm gonna place it over the black ink. Oops. And then we're gonna start off with the blue instead of the brown. So. We're gonna do the sky first because it's lighter. And this isn't gonna keep the, the ink from getting on the black, but it, it does help us see better and it will help it some. So we may have to touch up the black when we're finished. So I've already cleaned my brush. And we're gonna start off, I've got, I've got a cloudy blue from Tim Holtz. I've got a sailboat blue from Tim Holtz. And then I've also got Sky from Brie Reese. Sky Seal or something like that. But I'm gonna start off with the, the Tim Holtz cloudy blue. Right now we're just trying to get coverage and then later we'll go back in and try to do the actual design color we're going for. Okay, now I'm gonna do the, the sky seal. Now this this one runs even more usually. We're just randomly placing it. I am blowing slightly. I didn't clean my brush at all during any of this, any of the blues. I didn't clean my brush at all. I 
I like how they just kind of all mix together. But you notice how I did save the darkest for last. Okay, now we're gonna go in with some browns down here. Now I'm cleaning my brush out. And you know, we're doing browns, so it's you don't even have to uh, clean it out super heavy because most browns are super strong in color. So, but I wanna try going in with a light brown. I'm not sure. I need to come up with like a ink chart so I can actually see each of the colors. I grabbed a uh, caramel from Marabou and then I also grabbed a latte and then I grabbed walnut and natural oak, but I'm not sure. We're gonna just kind of go with it. I'm gonna start with the latte first. And I mean, if it's too dark, I can always just thin it out with the alcohol. See how easy I'm going over the line where the black is? And we'll just do this all the way around because I want to get that line so then I'm not having to worry about it anymore. See, we're just going to kind of make some hills. Might even do some like little grassy areas. I'm gonna add a little bit of the caramel just to give it more, more dimension. I think with the more colors you use, it gives it more dimension. Nice and easy though. Yeah, see that's real. I like that, they look good together. Got something right there. I love it because it just looks like art and you're just creating a look and you know you're just going to keep continue this until you get it how you like it. Now I'm probably not going to add any more brown. I'm probably just going to dip it in my alcohol a little bit to move around and you've seen how I dabbed that because when you put that brush in there it definitely uh, lets you move it around more. I'm just trying to easily go next to the blue, kind of like I did when we, our black line.
dip it in there again. Try to get a little closer to the blue. I don't know where that little piece of glitter came from. Can't be having that on a little boy's cup. I need one of those little desk vacuums. Anybody know where I can get a good one of those? I know I've seen them on Amazon, but I just don't know how good they work. That way, every time I'm finished with something, I can just do my little vacuum on my desk. See how we're just meshing the two browns together. Try and get up in there where the blue is. I think I like that. Yeah, I think I like that. I don't think I'm going to add any green. Maybe I'll add like a cactus or something after we get this done. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this tape off, see what kind of damage we got. Well, not too bad. Look at that. Not too bad. So now I'm just going to use my alcohol ink markers to fix that. Now these, I just, I got these for Christmas, but I have seen them on Amazon. I'd love to have the big set. I'm going to go over this little line too. I love these things. I use these things all the time. Kind of gives like a, a watercolor. Doing a watercolor tumbler here. That's what we're calling it. And you might have to go over them several times, you know, to make sure you got good coverage on it. Now, if we'd actually pulled out the inks, it, we probably would only had to do it once. Check my bottom for me sitting it on my desk. And anytime I'm working on a guy cup or a boy cup, I always, because I always have glitter everywhere, I'm going to just overview it. Before I throw my epoxy on, especially with these inks, because working with inks, it makes the cup real tacky. And everything wants to cling to it. See right there, I got it. See, I got glitter on my fingers. I ain't even touching no glitter today. It's just from my room. Now let's see if I can't find that little piece of glitter I seen. Got it. Make sure I don't have another one. just easier to get them before you put the epoxy on it. I hate it when I missed it and then 
It's got epoxy on it, and then I got to dig it up. See, I had two specks, and I had literally haven't touched nothing glitter today. Not yet, anyway. All right, we're going to throw some epoxy on this bad boy. I decided I'm going to go ahead and put these decals on there. That way, just saves one more step. I don't have the rest of the decals just yet, but we can definitely get these on. Now I just used uh, Cricut's printable vinyl for these. Now this I put uh, about six drops of uh, white alcohol ink. And this was just a little bit that I had left. We're just going to kind of drizzle some clouds. I'm, I'm just going to do a few of these and then I'm going to put some, uh, some epoxy dye in there to make it more white. Here I'm using Illuminite White and I'm just going to, this doesn't take much at all, oops. Just remember, don't squeeze too hard. <laughs> and see how it makes it a little more whitey white. Also going to put a glove on because once we start heating it up we're going to be rubbing some off. So get your glove ready and a paper towel. So then we're going to tilt it. Tilt it. We want to make sure we don't get into our picture. I'm going to start rubbing some of this off. See, we just want to. Some cloud lights. Not too much. We don't want too many. That's been for a minute, and then we're gonna you just kind of play with it until it looks what you're how you want it to, or how you got it pictured in your mind. Sometimes it don't cooperate, and then you got to start all over from the beginning. Let's see what we got now. 
And you just kind of just keep playing with it. So now I'm going to tilt it. Let it run down. And we'll tilt it this way. And now we're just going to let it go. And see how it doesn't look like it's moving into the brown. That's what we want. I'm going to shift it the other direction. And I think we're going to be good. Bring the cup over. I kind of want to center it. Nice and slow. Now this here is just regular contact paper that I got from Walmart. I've had that rule forever. So now we're just going to check it out, making sure that they all read right. See, I need to fix that little cue. <laughs> Yep, so that's that. And we're going to put the name right here in the center. Which I already did that. I uh, already got it layered. I'm going to use that same contact paper. I do got to turn it this way, so let me see if I can't angle you up just a little bit more. I'm going to measure. All my stuff coming at me. I want to measure from there to there. That's five and a half, so two and a half is the center line, which is basically about right where the corner of his truck is. As long as it's close, where it's not way off.
so stinking cute. And now it's ready for the final coat of epoxy. All right, guys, so I don't do cups very often that have the lid and see how when I screwed the cup, the lid on, the handles aren't where they're supposed to be. So we have to remove all the decals and replace them. So I'm going to show gonna you go around how the tumbler I go about and I'm going to keep sanding it and I'm going to sand it real good. And then I'm going to use my heat gun. And then I'm going to heat up the area where I want to remove the vinyl. And I'm going to heat it up pretty good. And then I'm going to use my knife and I'm going to gently scrape it off or dig it out, however you want to say it. But that's how I go about removing all my vinyl. Hi guys, I didn't show all the footage of me removing uh, the vinyl decals because it, it would have made the video super, super long because it was a long process. So once I sanded the cup down, I tried, you know, sanded a good portion and then once I sanded it, then I started heating up uh, and then removing the decals. Um, so, you know, it happens. Don't beat yourself up if, if something like that happens to you. You know, you just do your best you can to fix it. And I mean, I got fortunate enough where I didn't have to redo another cup or start all over. So, and I did also have to touch up the inks. And once I touched up the inks, I did like three coats of epoxy. And then once I did the three coats of epoxy, I was able to lay my new decals down and then uh, apply two more layers and then it was good to go. But, you know, I don't, I don't do cups with, with the little side handles too often, but I mean, every once in a while I do. Uh, so just remember, put that lid on so you know exactly where to put the decals. Um, so I hope this was a nice little tip for you and I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and you know, that was just a small little scene picture, uh, but I mean, think of what, what you could do. You can add like a cactus with the watercolors and then do a vinyl overlay over the cactus. That would be pretty cute, um, but it just kind of gives you a, a new idea on uh, something new. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps me out, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.